Okay, so you should see uh, I have Map Publisher here up in front of me. Uh, and, and the first topic we're going to be talking about is how to position your map view. So we have uh, our map view panel, and I can go into the map view editor. And this is the only way I should be using uh, the, the only method I should be moving my map view around on my artboard. Uh, I'm going to show some of the uh, things of what not to do uh, a little later. But first, I want to show what to do uh, for moving your map view. So there are uh, four ways that you can uh, move your map view around on the artboard. So on the, uh, unfortunately, the screen sharing is not picking up my current dialogue. So I'm going to change this around. And do this a little differently. Hopefully this pops up here. There we go. All right, apologies there for the hiccup. Uh, so I have my map view editor open and I can use the uh, move map view mode. It's the four arrows icon and this basically allows me to move my map view around by hand. It's uh, a quick and easy way to place your map view and uh, it's, it's not as precise as using either one of the quick alignment tools uh, or the fine tuning or map locations. Uh, it's just more or less uh, a quick way to quickly move your data around. So if I move it over to the right hand side, you can see that my map view will update instantly. If I go back in here, the quick alignment, that's just nine quick and easy positions around the artboard shouldn't be anything too surprising here. Uh, the fine tuning gives you uh, some control for your, uh, your map anchor and where it is positioned on the page with respect to the page uh, uh, units. So right now my lower left and lower Y coordinates are somewhere here on the artboard about midway up the left-hand side. And as I change my uh, let's say I change it to negative 900 and then 500 for the Y. Uh, that's not going to do a whole lot. You can see that as I change my, my coordinates, my page location, my map view updates in real time uh, in the preview. Uh, the last one is the, uh, the page and world location. So if I have a, uh, a page location here on my, my map, let me just unlock one of my layers. So if I want the lower left-hand corner of my map to coincide here with the lower left-hand corner of my preferred uh, position, I'm going to place a page location in the corresponding corner. I go back into my map view editor. It's already selected my page and world locations. And when I click apply, you can see that my map view has gone from the uh, sort of area that I've marked off here is, you know, don't place my map here and into the preferred destination area. So I'm just going to quickly undo that once more. So some of the ways that we uh, we suggest not to be moving your data, uh, obviously the first one will be the, the direct selection tool and the standard selection tool. This is breaking the georeferencing of your data. Uh, and it's obviously uh, something that we are strongly against. Uh, it's going to ruin your map. Um, when I do my, my training courses, I do see a lot of people doing this. So I often, you know, give them a slap on the wrist, but not really, uh, and tell them, you know, it's the only way to be moving it is 
through the map view editor. Also, Illustrator has some uh, alignment and distribution uh, tools. Uh, if I select a piece of art, unfortunately, it's not showing up here on the control bar, but sometimes you'll see you can uh, select and distribute uh, different pieces of art. Here we go, along the top. So you can align and distribute your art. Um, you know, these are basic Illustrator tools, but obviously not great for Map Publisher. So I'm just going to close my document here. I've got another one to show an example. If you do happen to break your georeferencing, uh, so this example here, I've got uh, my map data where it's currently located, and this little uh, uh, duplicate on the right is where it's supposed to be. And to prove that, I'm going to drop a world location. Uh, this is here in Toronto. Uh, so I'm going to drop it uh, at the CN Tower. So this coordinate is 79. Uh, I want degrees, minutes, seconds. So 79, 23, 13.9944. And then my latitude. So if my map, uh, if I didn't know my map was broken, I would expect the, the world location to be dropped somewhere about here. But when I drop it, it's actually in the incorrect position. So I'm going to use uh, one of our sort of hidden tools called uh, specify anchors. And this is basically going to adjust the coordinates of my map so that the CN Tower is actually located right around here. And in order to do that, I'm going to uh, use our map locations panel. And I'm going to add a location uh, from the web. So you could see that when my dialog opened, it's actually opened somewhere to the west of where my map actually is. That's because my referencing is broken. I'm going to uh, pick the intersection of Young Street and King Street. So this will be my world location that uh, will then apply the coordinates to uh, my map view. So let's see, King and Young is right here. I then zoom back out and I'm going to use location two and location three uh, to tie my map view back together. So in order to get to specify anchors, you have to highlight the map view you want to correct. You then click the panel menu and you go down to specify anchors. You then select the page anchor or the page location and the world location you want to tie together. And you hit OK. And you can see that my location one, which was my CN Tower, has now updated and uh, is now pointing in the correct location. The only thing that will have to uh, be updated is my grid. So it it doesn't update automatically, but if I go into my grids and graticules and just hit OK, uh, everything updates and my grid is uh, correct with respect to my map. 